Um, let's sort of show off the end result for the tokens. So it's a nice felt on the back. They line up nicely, feel nice and substantial in the hand. And um, yeah, they're pretty neat. I need to trim around the edge a little bit. Some of the, the felt starting to let go a little bit. Not from the plastic, but just from itself. So they seem to go around and trim it up. I'm not wouldn't not sure how you'd fix that. Like maybe you like cauterize the edge slightly with maybe a laser or something. I mean, if you laser cut them. But I'm very happy with those. Um, I put a coat of polyurethane lacquer on them last night. Can't really tell, but that should make them last a bit longer. Um, one frustration I had was that little bits of little threads of fluff from the felt would come off and get in the polyurethane. So I have to sort of work them off to the edge. That slowed things down a lot. But um, for the next batch, oh, I also made these little little shrouds. And you pop these over the top of the token when that character dies so you can keep track of who's dead. And they are just, they fit the curve. So they hold on nicely. Um, to avoid the fluff getting in the polyurethane for the subsequent batch of stickers, uh, tokens I did, I painted the whole sheet. Makes it curl a little bit, but that's not a problem. Um, I made some different sizes. For the circle cutters and so now i've got um three different sizes a 47 a 30 something and a 20 something i can't remember um but the the big improvement i made for these was to have three blades instead of four um so at all times three blades are touching the cutting board whereas with four you can sort of get off camber um, but three it's a tripod so it, all three can touch and all three can cut um, I did run into a problem with the smaller ones um, because when you're cutting them they're, they're turning a much tighter radius. There's shear forces on the tip and so you can see this one is A and they've got one blade left on it. I snapped off the other two and B the blade tip is chopped off. Um, it didn't end up being that much of a problem um, but yeah the smaller you go the harder it is to have multiple blades and it, but the smaller you go the less circumference you have to cut so it's one blade on the small one is fine. I'm not quite sure how much smaller you could go with this idea. Um, I don't think I'll bother punching out these ones. Um, I think I might just use some other stand-in, like a coin or something, to in, instead of those marks. But um, we'll see how we go. So I've got a lot of those already cut out. As you can see, they came out quite neat. They've got a bit of a curl, but I imagine once the PVA hits them, that'll sort them out. And I've also got the other, some other tokens necessary for tracking who is alive or dead and who has voted or not. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm up to. Um, I've finished making the box. And so it's lined with felt, looks quite nice. And all the tokens with the felt on the back sit nicely in the box. Like I'm holding this box up at a 45 degree angle and they stick there. So that's handy so the person who's running the game can walk around the room um, and tap people on the knee and give them secret information at night. I think the drunk is my favourite character. So you don't actually get shown this token if you end up being the drunk. You get shown a different token that says, yeah, you're totally the mayor for this game. And then you act as though you are the mayor. You are given information as if you were the mayor. But you're actually the drunk and none of your abilities do anything at all. So that's, that's a fun twist. Alright, that's what I'm up to. Bye bye.